ladies and gentlemen my name is destiny and welcome back to another epic tutorial series in this one we will be building a fully functional e-commerce platform like amazon and it's gonna have all the core functionalities of a real world e-commerce platform starting from user authentication which is the login logout and register feature also it will have the authentication using google and facebook after that we will be adding products from the front end and the back end we will be sending data in real time to and from the server adding to carts using sessions and saving products to database checkouts wish list price filter filter sliders advanced functional filters front end fully functional dashboard customized django admin section real payment integration auto generated invoice receipt and a lot more robust feature they definitely wouldn't see coming and the prerequisite for this course is just the basic knowledge of HTML that's all you don't need to know anything about Django you don't need to know anything about JavaScript Ajax jQuery or even bootstrap as that is what we'll be learning together in this Django stack masterclass so sit tight to get the templates the HTML CSS images JavaScript and pretty much the finished product of this crash course you would need to follow the first link in the description below to download it don't you think it would be awesome if we start off by taking a thorough look at what we'll be building in this course to me that sounds like a great idea so sit back as we demo the end product of the fully functional e-commerce platform that was built using Django and JavaScript. If you want to see more amazing educational tech and can afford to watch tutorials like this, then I would highly recommend that you go ahead and smash the good-looking subscribe button and also don't forget to drop a like on this video and share it to your friends that might find it useful. Finally, if you have any feature in mind that is not in what we are building, then do make sure to drop your ideas in the comment section below so I would make sure to add it to the course. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So first off, from over here, as you can see, my server is running on port 8000 on my Visual Studio Code integrated terminal. And um, the way you open this up is pretty much hitting Ctrl tilde on your keyboard or come over to terminal, then open up a new terminal. Okay. So when that's done, I simply run python manage.py run server and it spins up the server on port 8000. So what you can do is go ahead and copy this URL over here. Then I'm simply going to head back to my dash to my browser, my favorite one, which is Google Chrome. And you want to make sure that your server is running. I think I mistakenly shut mine down. So I'm going to run Python manage.py again. And now what do you notice from over here? We have this really cool looking site loading up. OK, as you can see, everything looks great from now. And um, there is a lot of features that I'm going to be showing you guys step by step. So without wasting any more time, let's just go ahead and get started. So from over here, as you can see, immediately we can see um, the percentage signs over here, minus 44%, minus 52%, minus 22%. So this is coming dynamically from the database and everything here is actually well calculated. So if you take a close look at the price, then you see that the, the old price was 200 bucks. Now the new one is 88. So that's how we got the minus 44%. Okay, so you can simply go ahead and add this to the wish list by just hitting this button over here. But if we try doing this now, nothing is gonna happen, and that's because you need to be logged in before you can add anything to your wish list. Okay, so the only thing that you that you will be able to do here without actually logging in is adding things to cart, viewing of products, and all that. So as you can see, this is all the products that we have over here on our site, some pretty good looking products, and I'm gonna start off by opening up one of this. So let's, I'm just going to head back here and let's say I want to start off by opening up the chicken pizza or we could just open up something else. Okay, let's say I want to open up this good looking chocolate bread and um, yeah, it's opened up. And as you can see, this is the product detail page. So from over here, this is where we view every single detail about our product. As you can see, we've got those images over here with the zoom effect. When you zoom on this, you can actually see the images more clear. Then we could actually open this one up also. And as you can see, it's automatically gets the other image. We could open up this one and this one. And all this is coming from the database. Okay. So all these images are saved and linked to one picture, or rather, I, I was supposed to say one product, which is the chocolate bread. So from over here, you can see that we have reviews. This is the normal price. This is the, the old price. This is the how many percent of then this is a simple description this is the product you could change this up from the admin section or from your front end dashboard then one of the most interesting things over here is that we could go ahead and add to cart so take a close look at this zero icon over here 
as you can see the zero now when we hit add to cart what do you notice it's just add this to cart without refreshing the page and this over here gets updated that's pretty cool right yeah it is so now if we open the cart up we can come over to the cart page what do you notice guys now we have this in the cart page and that looks amazing so there is a couple of things that we could do in the cart page we could go ahead and delete so we could delete this from the cart page without actually refreshing and just take a close look as you can see this is what we have over here and this is number one so when we go ahead and hit the delete icon what you notice it's it's removed from the cart page and this over here now changes back to zero that's really amazing so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna head back and add a couple more things to the cart or, or i'm just gonna still explain some things over here before we start adding to the cart so initially this is gonna add to our wish list which you can see over here wish list but you need to be logged in to add something to the wish list and this is for comparing products okay so from over here you can see that this product i've got a couple things it has type organic it has a school it has the manufacture date okay as you can see there is no manufacture date for this it has a life so it's going to live for 100 days it has 10 items in stock and it has no tag okay so this is this is totally up to you if you add a tag it's going to show up over here and um to actually even show you that that's that's going to show up what i'm going to do is i'm going to open up one of those other other products so i'm going to open up the 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 sushi over here and what do you notice now this one have a tag so we have tag foods and sushi so if we open up you can click on any of this tag and what it's going to do is it's going to open up another page for you and this is the tag page now all these products over here have a tag of food so they have something similar and that is they have a tag of food over here okay this food so that's pretty amazing now another thing that you could see is if we open this up and um yeah this is this i just opened up another project and this is a cake now one thing that you can notice from here is that this one have this description here also so this over over here is going to be a short description so let's say this product has a, a whole um lot of description and the description is really really long the one that's going to show up over here is just a truncated um version of the whole description now over here we're going to get everything okay so over here is where we get the additional info of whatever is it that you're you're passing in as a product so let's say it's not a cake but it's actually a, a t-shirt or a polo then this is where you're going to put in all the extra specifications or the deals that it's going to be needing so let's say it's a furniture or something then this way you're going to put in weights weight capacity frame door pass through and all that kind of stuff okay so after that there is another tab over here that's called vendor so this vendor tab is pretty much the person that's created this product okay so our e-commerce sites have a vendor functionality as you can see the vendor also shows up here so this vendor is pretty much someone that came over to our site signed up with us and become a partner so as you can see the name of their shop is x food as you can see x food so now they the sign up with us this is the address of the vendor this is the contact of the vendor now all these are not static files all these are actually dynamic data coming from the from the database okay this is the vendor's description looking great so as you can see this is all we've got from over here and i'm going to be showing you guys the vendor detail and a whole lot of cool things later okay now another cool thing that i really did over here that is really amazing is the reviews so if you open up this review now as you can see it says um that there is no review over here as no user has added any review now in order for us to add a review we need to log in to make a review okay so that's what we're going to be doing whenever we log in and start working with that so back to the cards page remember when we added to the cards Another cool thing that you could do is increase the number of this. So let's say what you want to order is six cakes. You could go ahead and add to carts. As you can see, it's added this to carts. Now we can open up our carts page. And what do you notice we have over here? Six. That looks great. So what if for any reason you also want to bump this up a little bit before you proceed to checkout? Now let's say we bumped it up to nine and we hit this refresh button. Take a close look at the price. Take a close look at the price over here. Now if we hit this button, without refreshing the page it automatically calculates the new price for us and it updates it in real time that's really amazing okay and you can go ahead and remove or you could even totally delete just like we've done before okay so when we've done that i think that's pretty much it let's open up this product again and see other things that we still have over here 
so um, one more thing that you can see down here is the related product so this one is really really cool when someone wants to order a cake depending on the tags that the cake have and the category that it's in you can see that this shows up some related products over here okay so i know right now this doesn't really match that's because um you know this is not like an e-commerce platform i'm not intended to sell cakes or whatever you could sell product whatever you want you could just, all you need to do is just take out those images put in clothes or let's say you want to sell furniture so you want to sell um you know computer gadgets mobile phones whatever just take out all these images and put yours so we got related products over here that's pretty cool so let's say i want to open up this one over here this part cook barbecue chicken now if we open this up what do you notice we also have all this so that's great i think that's pretty much it for here the next one that we're going to be doing is go ahead and show you guys how to make comments and how to actually save okay so how do we do that firstly in order to start doing that you need to log in so from over here we could actually visit account all this actually works all this link works but firstly the first thing we want to do is go ahead and sign in okay so instead of signing in i could go ahead and create a new account so i'll show you guys that we come over to come over here create account then um, i'm gonna go ahead and fill this up real quick as you can see that's my username that's my email that's my two password it's testing three to one now if you don't have this extension over here it's called form filler so just search for form filler on your favorite web browser and install it okay so after you've done that i'm simply going to go ahead and hit submit and register now this is going to process it in our back end and it's going to create an account for the user and what you notice it says hey your account was created and after some seconds the alert disappears that's really amazing so now we have a new account for this new user so one of the cool things that they can do is visit their dashboard okay so as you can see they visit their dashboard now i don't want to show you guys anything here yet because we haven't gotten here i'm going to show you guys but what do you notice when a user creates an account it automatically creates a dashboard for them that's pretty amazing so just like we said before we could add things to wish list from over here if you hit this what do you notice it added to the wish list now okay let's say i want to add a couple more things to the wish list i'm going to add the burger i'm going to add this cake instead of adding it from there you could also add it from here you could do whatever you want i could also add this one from here okay that's pretty amazing now one thing i'm going to do is just go ahead and open up my wish list page so as you can see it shows four things on the wish list that's really amazing so from the wish list page what do you notice we have all these things in our wish list now from the wish list page also you go ahead and add to cart so take a close look at the cart we just got one thing over there we can add this to cart what do you notice we got two things in the cart now we can also add this to cart we got three things in the cart as simple as that now another thing that we could do is go ahead and delete things from the wish list page take a close look as you can see this pages are not refreshing this page is not refreshing whenever we do anything everything is happening in real time so we could go ahead and delete this what do you notice it's gone we could delete it again what do you notice it's gone remain only three right we could also delete this it's gone remain only two so now if you take a close look at this page you can see that we have two things in our wish list that's really amazing so you could even go ahead and just remove everything from over here and it shows you nothing in wish list yet that's really cool so um i'm gonna open up the shop this is another page this one is for pretty much everything that you want to be doing on your site so remember the one i was showing you guys earlier which is the home page this one over here this is pretty much where featured products get shown so if a product is featured this is where it gets shown if a product is not featured it won't be shown here okay if a product is featured it would show here if a product is not featured it won't show here but it's gonna show in the shop so the shop is pretty much like a wide version of our site what do you notice this is it over here so from over here as you can see we got all the products on this page and we could pretty much do almost the same thing we could go ahead and add add to cart from over here and as you can see we are adding to the cart so right now that we are logged in i'm gonna get back here to show you guys how all this filters works well I'm, i want to go ahead and firstly show you guys um the comments thing remember we said whenever we log in that's when we're going to be able to make comments now what do you notice this form shows up because we are logged in so i can say something like this is a um really nice product okay and i'm gonna go ahead and choose a star let's say i want to give it four stars now take a close look this page is not going to refresh when we hit submit review it's go it's it's going to come over here and as you can see in real time it submits this it gets the dates that i'm submitting this it gets the 
the the text it gets how many star that i chose and my name that's really amazing now it says review addict successfully and as you can see it removes the form now if we try adding another review again we won't be allowed to do so and that's because we don't we, we don't want to encourage spamming over here whenever a user adds a review we don't want to show up any we don't want to show up the form again for them to add reviews so we're going to be implementing this okay so i think that's pretty much it for everything that i want to show you guys over here and just like i said you can also add at wishlist from this from this button over here so after all this we got this address in over here don't worry i'm going to be showing you guys how this works later now what i want to do is get back to the shop remember that's where i want to show you guys some things so we could we could go ahead and start off by filtering by price so i know it's going to be kind of difficult to see all this happen because we have to scroll in order to see this work now what i'm going to do is i'm going to reduce my my size the size of my site so you could all all, all see this okay let me reduce the gain. Just just take a close look at what happens whenever I go ahead and drag the price filter and hit filter. So I'm gonna choose a price between for 300 and so. As you can see, it's 300 over here. So I'm gonna try magnifying this a little bit so you guys can see how wow, this is reduced. Okay. So this 365. Now what I want to do is go ahead and drag this all the way here, and I'm gonna hit filter. So what do you notice? I think all those products are still under this price. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reduce it a little bit, maybe let's say here, and I'm gonna hit filter again. Now, what do you notice, guys? Without the page refreshing, it filters all the products that's in the range of $29. So what I can do is I could even go ahead and bump this up just a little bit. And from over here, let's go ahead and hit filter. While you guys look, what do you notice? It gets some products back. That looks really amazing, right? So a user can come over to your site. They don't need to look at each and every one of the products one by one and check the price. All they need to do is, okay, I want to add, a, I want other products that are just below 83 bucks. They're gonna slide up to 83 bucks and they're gonna go ahead and hit filter, and it's gonna automatically filter the products for them as simple as that without actually refreshing the page now that's one really cool thing i'm gonna get all the products now so as you can see i'm, I'm getting all the products now one thing that i'm gonna do is show you guys how the categories work so let's go let's take this up a little bit so you guys can see now we got a couple categories over here we got food cosmetics clothes computers snacks and skincare so if we say we want to go with clothes i'm gonna hit clothes now what do you notice everything over here disappears and that's because we don't have any um any products in the clothes mainly we have food right so if i untick food what do you notice they get back so um we could even go ahead and, and choose cosmetic now what do you notice we have only this one and if you take a close look down here then you see that it's cosmetic what do you notice it's cosmetic over here so that's why it's it shows that up now all these are working in real time and that's really amazing now we could even go ahead and match two things together so we could say we want all categories by by food and if you can see if we choose food almost everything comes up now as you can see the cosmetic one is in here so if we choose food and cosmetic then you're gonna see that it will now show up over here so um where is it where is it but hopefully you notice that one thing added over here this is it the cosmetic one that's really amazing so um i think that's it for categories there is nothing in food there is there is nothing in computers also and um as, as i told you guys earlier this is totally up to you i don't um i it's not a must that all you must all you should do is sell foods no you could sell clothes you could sell books whatever at all all you need to do is just change up all those images now the second to the last thing that we have over here is by vendors so let's say okay i really love netlify vendor or company wherever i want to get products only from them they are really cool they're really amazing their products are cheap then i could just go ahead and hit netlify now what do you notice it filters all the whole products that that is by Netlify over here. What do you notice by Netlify? By Netlify, that's really amazing, right? So if you go ahead and untick this, it's gonna bring back all the products that every every vendor has made. So we could say, okay, we only need um products by Netlify and only X food, and we only need categories food. So we want to get only food from these two vendors, and we want a price to be below um 11 bucks okay so i'm gonna head to 11 bucks and i'm gonna hit filter so what do you notice this is exactly what we want over here so take a look at this 39 bucks now none of this product is going to be greater than 39 bucks what do you notice the highest is 30 cool right so if i go ahead and bump this up a little bit and filter now what do you notice none of those products are going to be greater than 83 bucks now what do you think the highest is over here as you can see it's 44 
that's great so another thing that we've got over here is popular tags now as you can see one of the popular tags that we've got is chickens vanilla milkshake chocolate now you could you could hit uh, any of this and it's gonna open up the page for you then you can see all the whole products that have this tag chicken which is a popular one so there's another popular one, tag which is food so if you open this up now you can see food is a popular tag what do you notice it, it has this also yeah that's that's pretty much it everything looks great from here and um i think that should be it now one more thing that i'd want to show you guys is the search so let's say okay um i actually know the products i'm looking for and that's a spot cook chicken is that how it's pronounced now i could come over here and just search for that and hit the search button now what do you notice it takes us to the search page and what do you notice guys we have the search thing now you can say oh yeah that's what i want then you could go ahead and add to cart and also save it to your wish list as simple as that without refreshing the page now as you can see everything works well and it even counts how many items that it gets for you we we found one item for you doesn't that look amazing that's great and as you can see this is the search query so whatever is passed into the search query that's what displays over there okay as you can see it's part cooked chicken now there is nothing over here it says we found zero items for you now everything looks great from over here so um before we go ahead and start talking about other things i want to show you guys the category so the category is a really nice one from the drop down you can see that we display all our category over here using a context processor now you could even go ahead and view all the categories so if i open up all the categories this is a page specifically dedicated to categories now what do you notice we got food we got cosmetics we got clothes we got skincare and we got snack now what do you notice snack have three products on diet computers have zero that's why when we were trying to filter by computer and skincare we're getting no products everything just disappears now you can even take a close look at it over here real quick if you don't want to look at it over here now you could even go ahead and click on each and any one of this category and it's going to open it up for you so we got cosmetic one product and we want to know what the one product is so we could go ahead and click on that and it's going to open this page up with a with a with us text cosmetics which identifies the category and what do you notice this is the one product looking great so you could also add to cart and even um add to wish list as you can see we got in our in our cart over there so all this looks great and just play around with it come over here open up anyone that you want this is the food and um this is the categories and the food and i just want you guys to know that everything over here is coming from the from the database okay everything is coming from back end to here nothing is static over here okay so guys um after this we also have vendors so i'm gonna open up vendor this is what i was telling you guys about now these are all the vendors that we have as you can see over here it says we have six vendors now hooray so we have nestify we have x food we have nature food nest food also i think we, we got okay yeah this x food this nest food we have healthy roots and dest food this is my my vendor page here yeah, dest food so um this is up to you guys let's say you want to sell clothes just like i said earlier you don't have to do the food things just change it up to your clothes it's totally up to you so now we, we could visit the store of someone so as you can see dest food has only one product healthy roots has only one product who has the highest product okay i think it's nestlify they've got seven products so we'll even go ahead and visit their store okay what do you notice this is their store cool this is their cover image this is their details their location their accounts social media accounts now the cool part is this is the product that they've got looking great and amazing right so these are all the products that they've got we could go ahead and add to cards just like i told you guys earlier or we could we could go ahead and view this product looking amazing so um after that i think that it's we also got this mega menu but that one is totally for the front end you could check out the link in the description below it should point you out to everything every coating that it's that's contained in the front end the pages and all that okay so one thing that i was contemplating on adding is a blog section if you guys really want to see it i could go ahead and add it but it's just that adding a blog is relatively easy so i was just like okay maybe i'm gonna give you guys that as an assignment to you know build a blog and actually share it on my um you know send it to me on any social media handle um twitter or wherever and i'm gonna post it if yours really look amazing then you add a lot of features to it okay so over here another thing that we've got is this pages so i give you guys all the pages you have the about us page if you open it up as you can see this is the this is the about us you can change this to whatever you want just tweak it to your taste and we've got a contacts page 
um, this is the contact page over here and the really cool thing about the contact page is that it works so we could fill this in and we'll go ahead and send message now what you notice is it says message sent successfully and at the back end we're gonna receive this so let me log into the back end real quick and let me hop over to contact contact us now what you notice this is the message that we just sent now you don't believe right now I'm gonna go ahead and delete all this so you don't think I'm cheating now I'm gonna remove all this from there hit delete now let's get back here refresh this page again now we should show this form we should we should fill this in and we should say hey this is a this is another contact so you guys can see that now contact i'm gonna go ahead and send message it says message sent successfully without refreshing the page it also closed the form now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna head back to the contact and let's refresh what do you notice guys we got us over here looking great i'm an amazing so i think that's it let's see another thing that we've got we've also got my dashboard i'm gonna be showing you guys that next we've got purchase guide this is for you just go ahead and write out your guide and policy and all that not even policy because i've got another page for you which is privacy policy and as you can see this is the page as usual go ahead and play around with this just tweak it to your taste okay and we also got terms of service now all this app just like i said before for you and also the contact page which we've just reviewed okay so guys after we've looked at all this i think that's pretty much what you want to look over here we've got this category drop down looking pretty amazing and cool and um we also got drop downs over here in case you want to search for something just like i showed you guys earlier so um after looking at all this let's go ahead and start looking at our, at our dashboard so i'm going to start off by looking at my accounts so over here what do you see my profile right we got my name we got my bio we got my phone and as you can see i'm not verified so whenever the, my platform which is nest verifies me then as you can see this is going to change to verified and let me even show you guys that real quick so if i hop over here to the profile we got destiny right then let's say we want to verify him he's a verified customer something like that then we get back here and refresh now what do you notice i'm verified looks amazing right so i'm going to be showing you guys how to actually um add, the, add up this feature so for any reason i don't like my image i want to go ahead and change it i could just go ahead and edit profile and what do you notice it brings up this page that's going to allow me edit my profile we can see the current image that we have we could go ahead and change it up i'm just going to choose this and um let me just head over here to my downloads real quick and um let's say i'm gonna open up the stock images i think i've got an image of myself over here let's see let's okay i got this one and i also even got this one so i'm just gonna open up this and let's say i want to change my name from destiny franks to, to something else let's just say destiny sam and um from software engineer to what let's say cook okay because i love cooking now after that i'm gonna go ahead and save changes now guys what do you notice this automatically and it says profile updated successfully and the alert is gone so what do you notice name destiny sam bio cook my number and i'm verified looks amazing right yeah now the next super cool thing over here is the dashboard so if you open up the dashboard you can see it says hello destiny it recognizes it recognizes that i'm the one that's logged in and it's called my name then it says blah blah we can check our account things from over here and the really cool thing is that we have this chat over here so this chat is pretty much show, showing us the orders that we have for each month since we started ordering things on our site so june we made one order as you can see over there july one order september one order october two orders november which is this month we got three orders so orders are coming from the from the database dynamically okay i'm gonna be showing you guys we got three products here when we start ordering something in the future dropping order and paying with paypal i'm gonna show you guys that this is gonna increase to four okay so just sit tight till we do that now after we've done this i'm gonna open up orders also this order is pretty much all the orders that it, that we've we've made on our site so as you can see we've tried ordering this invoice number nine number eight number seven number six um status processing delivered this one was shipped this one was delivered shipped processing as you can see the um, the payments was actually paid this was paid this was later cancelled and all that so all this i'm going to be showing you guys how to do this this is the total price of the cards and the really cool thing about it, this is that we might go ahead and look at one of this so this is one invoice right and in an invoice there are different products in an invoice so if we open this up uh oh we got no products in that invoice so what i'm gonna do is i'm i'm gonna head back to order and i'm gonna open up one of this again so what do you notice in that invoice we got this really good looking products okay 
so um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna head back to my dashboard and head back to others again now let's open up another one so i'm gonna look for the one with a, with a really huge price which is this one and i'm gonna open it up and it's shut out we should have products here so if we open this up what you notice these are all the products that we got in that invoice looking great we keep track of everything that happens we keep track of every amount that a user orders with we keep track of every transaction that's going on on the e-commerce site and everything is working in real time and everything is synced and saved in the database okay so the next thing that we have over here is the address i'm going to open up the address and um yeah this is one of the cool things that we have so depending on whatever we want to order we could go ahead and add up an address so let's say i want to order something for my friend that lives in somewhere that i don't know in this city over here now i'm going to go ahead and add up their phone number and um, let's say i want to order something for them so i could put in the address that i want to i want this to get shipped to and all i need to do is go ahead and save the address as you can see address added successfully great now if we get back here we could make that address the default one this is it over here so if i hit make default what you notice automatically now it's the default address that whatever we are trying to order is gonna get shipped to i don't know if you guys understand what i'm saying and to even further show you guys this i'm simply gonna come over to my cart i'm gonna open up my cart and right away i want to go ahead and proceed to checkout okay so i proceed to checkout now what do you notice over here i got that address so what do you notice this and i got that number so how about for some reason i don't want to order this for the for the dude any longer now i want to order it for myself and i want to change the address it's quite simple all you need to do is come over here and i'm going to change it to main street 103 miami usa whatever and now if we get back here and refresh take a close look at the other others over here what do you notice the address changes so i'm going to be showing you guys step by step on how to implement all this really good looking features so after we've done that we also have account details over here so this one is totally up to you you could go ahead and fix up your account we already have this on the profile page and we'll even also have this on the admin dashboard okay i'm gonna be showing you guys adding admin dashboard in a couple sec to come so um after all this we can go ahead and log out just like i showed you guys we'll come over here and we'll sign out and um, as you can see it says we are logged out great now we could even go ahead and sign in again as desk fix and the really cool thing about this that is that if you take a close look then you see that we log we are logging in using our gmail account and not username that means we extended um the django admin and created a custom one which allows us login with the email and a password of our trace we go hit remember me and it's going to go ahead and remember us okay so um when this is done as you can see it says we are logged in pretty cool so um let's how about we just go ahead and and add something to the cart and try paying for it i think that's that's that should be it now so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna get down here and let's say this Bra brazilian baked fish i'm gonna add this to my cart i also need some baked barbecue chicken i also need the fried rice um sushi and let's say i want to also get some jollof rice and as you can see we got a couple of things on our cart now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna open up my cart and as you can see we have all this in our cart but you know what my friends coming over i would need to get um you know let's say three plates of the rice and i'm just gonna bump this up and what you notice it calculates the price immediately and it updates all this so after doing this over here what i'm going to do is i'm going to get back to the admin and i'm going to open up the cart order so you guys can see this in real time so as you can see over here we got this this was the one that we tried ordering as you can see it's still in processing nothing has happened yet now take a close look this is the school that we have if i go ahead and proceed to checkout then this is automatically going to go ahead and initiate a new cart order for us now i refresh this is no longer going to be 10 but it's going to be 11. now what do you notice we got a new school right we got this so when we go ahead and make payments i'm just going to scroll down take a close look we got this we got this also now we'll go back to cart from over here we could see the roundup of everything that we've got we got one brazilian baked chicken we could go up fish rather we could just go back and view it that if you want to view it then um we could also go ahead and just make payments okay so we're going to be making payments using paypal all we need to do is just hit the the buy now button and this should go ahead and connect to paypal sandbox now what do you notice it automatically gets the price that we want to pay so it dynamically gets 384.92 
dollars and if we get back here what do you notice 384.92 so all this are working all this works in real time and you're working perfectly well so after that we could go ahead and log in now with my sandbox account um, I don't know if you have a sandbox account all you need to do is head over to sandbox.paypal.com and create a new account just like PayPal so now I'm gonna go ahead and complete this purchase all I need to do is just um, choose one of these I could choose credit union I could choose visa it's totally up to you what you want to pay with now I'm gonna complete payments what do you notice it says thanks for using PayPal and guys it says you paid 384.92 USD <clears throat> and as you can see it says we paid with this it gives the purchase detail the receipts number and they'll send a confirmation to this email really cool so let's just go back and return to merchants we are done with payments and the really cool part is that it automatically generates an invoice for us but as you can see over here i forgot to add a float format so i'm gonna be adding a float format when we start off the tutorial or uh, rather i'm gonna add a float format right now when i'm done with this so this is this is gonna remove all those extra numbers and it's gonna round it up only to the first two over here okay so as you can see this is what we got now the really cool thing is that we can go ahead and download this invoice so a user can simply download this invoice and it's immediately saves to their pc and another thing they could do is even go ahead and print this invoice and send it to a printer you know as you can see let's just okay see it loads up or if they want they could even still go ahead and save it on their on their pc i'm just gonna save this let's say on my desktop real quick i'm just gonna pass in invoice or whatever save it and if we get back here and open this up on my browser or your pdf reader what do you notice guys we got this really good looking invoice and it says hey destiny thanks for shopping at nest Mart. everything is working perfectly well just like you would expect and um if there is anything that you guys want me to add just drop a comment in the comment section below now let's head back to the dashboard so from the dashboard again um is this going to the dashboard no i don't think it's going to the dashboard so I'm gonna get back here and get back to my account remember I told you guys that I'm gonna show you guys that it's added so now what do you notice what do you think is gonna happen when we hover as you can see six orders that's because we've been creating instances over here so as you can see now November has one two three take a close look it also has four five six that's really amazing right yeah so um I think that's that's pretty much it for all this I'm gonna get back here and let's see if there is something else that we haven't demoed yet um okay i think that's it now let's go ahead and look at the admin dashboard so you, instead of your users coming over here and you know playing around with your main super user dashboard that doesn't make any sense that's why i went ahead and created their own dashboard for them like for vendors okay so when you open this up this is a dashboard for vendors looks pretty cool right now we can see all the revenue that we've generated now this is a calculation of everything based on a single vendor or you now this is all the orders that we've gotten these are all the products that we have this is our monthly earning so every month this is what we earn to 139 bucks so if any reason I, I make some orders now you can see this pump up now this is only the ending for November alone and this is because if you take a close look for other ones other months you can see that they're ending are really low like July we made only 88 then by November as you can see we're making a whole lot of bucks over here so everything is working perfectly well and um, I think that should be it now another thing that we've got over here is the is the orders so these are the order the school the school over here is pretty much this ones that we have over here as you can see school eg 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 that's it over here school eg 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 this is the billing name destiny the date it was created September the total this is the one that we just paid for now 384.92 hopefully you guys remembered everything is working perfectly well so it's paid for already now as we as the user we need to come over here and simply check this as paid okay so um i think that's going to be over here then we're going to check this as paid and we simply save this okay now take note you could also automate this if you want you could simply automatically change this to paid but it's just that i'd want to leave it this way so you would you yourself would confirm the payments before going up before saving this okay and before changing this to maybe um processing or shipped or delivered okay so that one is totally up to you any way you want to do this you could automate it you could also do it manually okay it's totally up to you but if you'd want to see the automation drop a comment down in the comment section so i'm going to automate this okay so whenever a user makes payments you're gonna see it in real time 
so as you can see the payments methods are paypal if someone is paying through another um payment gateway it's gonna show that over here and that's the view details just like we worked on in the last one so another cool thing that we could see over here is the products so if i open up those products what do you notice guys we got all those products that we have over here so you see all those products that we have over here in the Django admin we also have it here with the price the published status the the date it was created as you can see this one was created um october 6 2022 midnight that's really cool and these are all the products so one really cool thing that we could do is we'll go ahead and delete a product so you see this one we could just hit delete and that product is gone bye bye as you can see it's gone from over there now this is our 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 dashboard we could do whatever we want brazilian baked fish we'll go ahead and edit this and what do you notice we have this really cool page for adding and editing so before editing let's go ahead and try adding up a new product i'm gonna come over here this is the products page i'm gonna just fill this in randomly um, i just press the form filler to fill this in i'm gonna choose a, a random image let's say i want to choose this creepy looking image i'm just gonna choose that and as you can see everything is looking really sweet and amazing and let's say i want to add the category as food or let's say computers because that image sure definitely looks creepy now after that what we could do is let's see let's see let's see we have the selling price we have the old price definitely the old price should be more than the selling price okay we have the currency which is usd we have the type of the product it could be maybe organic cream um creepy images whatever and then how many is in stock we got 22 right even if you take a close look at the placeholder then you're gonna see that it's actually asks, asks you the question and it tells you what to do so how many are in stock 22 how long would this product live for 203 days okay 203 days whatever manufacture date is when we could add whatever just add this and um you could add tags over here this is the cool part we could say creepy image creepy image looks um yellow image um whatever digital just separate your tags with comma and after that you could check this if it's a digital product if it's a digital product then there will not be any need for shipping okay they're just gonna send it to their email whenever they make a payment so um after all this we, we chose this we also chose this let's go ahead and create products so we created products and what do you notice guys it's created a new product for us as you can see that's it over here looking really creepy so by default it's gonna be in review till we the you know the super user go ahead and change this from in review as you can see that's it over here in review to published that's only when it's going to be showing up on our site then when we want it to be featured we could just hit this featured button over here don't worry i'm still coming over here i'm going to show you guys a lot of things so um when we change this to publish now and make it featured and save this let's save then um I think it's it's done saving so what i could do is i'm just gonna get back here and let's refresh um but before that let me get rid of this so now what do you notice guys it's pop it's it's published right looking really amazing so you could you could go ahead and edit this is the spot cooked chicken whatever now i'm just gonna say updated so we are updating something and it displays the format image that we got over there so we know the image that we are changing looks great then we're gonna go ahead and okay it's needs a manufacturer date now it's also in the, okay it has a tag already i'm just gonna go ahead and create okay so this as you can see it has created and um let's just get down this is it updated yeah looking pretty cool so i think that's pretty much it for over here now the next thing that i'd want to show you guys is everything that we got over here in the admin so starting from the top you can see that this is using django jasmine to actually change the from the default django admin to this really cool looking one now um from over here this is where you do your admin things it's totally up to you whatever you want to do this is really robust and it works perfectly well um as you can see we have addresses everything is being saved over here for you to play around with now we can make edits from this list you don't need to enter this one by one before you make edits now that's the hard way we make edits from over here we have the cut order items we have categories as you can see we also show up images over here on the list that's pretty cool we have the reviews just like i told you guys this was the one we made this is a really nice review um products rather four stars as you can see it shows up over there this is the products so these are all the products now you could also add products from over here that's if you don't want to add products from the form that i created so the way i added images is this 
we will go ahead and fill this automatically now if you want to add image just click on this and choose whatever image you want to add it doesn't mean depend how many you want to add you can add as as much as 1 million 2 million images is totally up to you okay but i wouldn't recommend you do that okay so when we've done this i think that's pretty much it now um let's look at what we've got already also we've got vendors i showed you guys also we got wish list i showed you guys this we got paypal ipns we already deal with dealt with paypal we have tags just like we've been working on okay yeah, yeah i know my tags looking really messed up i was playing around with things before now we also have the contact us we have the profile so this profile is the one that i told you guys earlier a user can have a profile so we can verify users from here i've showed you guys that already and um finally we got this users thing so i think that's gonna be it for this video hopefully i've demoed every single thing that we're gonna be doing and this is really a lot there's gonna be a, a really long tutorial but trust me it's gonna hold your hand and it's gonna take you through the road of django and it's gonna explain every single thing that you need getting started coding with django and trust me after taking this tutorial there is nothing that you'd be waiting for again to start building your really amazing site okay so i think that's pretty much it you want to get a template go ahead and check out the link in the description below just like i said earlier this is the template that you guys would be getting um this is the completed project there's everything over here and um, this is the front end template as you can see we got a whole lot of files over here right we got a whole lot of files this these are the files the about accounts add products cuts at least checkout blah 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 and we also got the assets files, css images fonts javascript files node but just has scss and also for the admin dashboard we also got their own things the admin dashboard was this one that i showed you guys over here this one we also got its own folder we have its own files we have its own assets there is just a whole lot of things for you guys all you need to do is check out the link in the description below and you're going to be able to get this template all you need to do is check out the link in the description below and it should point you to the right direction to get this template so before i go ahead and end of the video I've got this step-by-step -step guide for you guys over here. So we don't just build things out. We follow step-by-step -step guides. So these are the step-by-step -step guides. It tells you what to do. It tells you when to do them. As you can see over here, we got this really, really robust step-by-step -step guide. And there is, if you look close, you can see number 22. Each and every one of the things over here are things that we're going to be doing. So the first thing is set up projects. The next thing is configure Jasmine, the custom admin. The next thing is go ahead and create custom user model then user register system user login system user logout system and um alerts in django the one that says you, you logged in successfully then we start structuring the product model then we we create lists view for all products we create category we create django context processors for for headers we create vendor vendor as you can see that's just a lot we create searching products filtering products using ajax jquery and um yeah as you can see this this we have, we've got 32 pages of this so you guys are also going to be getting this um follow the link in the description it should point you the right direction so this is just like a step-by-step -step guide telling you what to do as you can see it says add js code to initiate the chat feature and it shows you as add the code and alongside that i'm also going to be providing you you guys all the cdn that was used in this tutorial so we used a lot of cdn jquery ajax charts django ck editor so this is where you guys should get all this from okay now i'm gonna be adding a whole lot more in here so by the time you might get this you might see a whole lot of cdns over here or you might just see this depending on how many that we used to make this tutorial okay so um i think that's pretty much it guys do make sure to drop a like because you're subscribing as it would really mean the world to me and um i want you guys to sit tight and also get a pen and a paper as we start off with this django e-commerce platform tutorial and until the next video mad love peace out